Well, it looks like temperature wise, it's all downhill from here, Jacob. Yeah, this might be our last upper 70s, uh, 80 degree day of the year, Alan. We topped out at 80 degrees today in Minot, Sydney and Aberdeen. Upper 70s for a lot of the rest of us, a good 25 to 30 degrees above normal. And today's uh, 80 degree high temperature in Bismarck uh, or in Minot is the third latest on record, the 21st here of October. Uh, coming for our 80 degree reading rather late in the year. The uh, latest on record is October 30th of 1950. Normal high temperatures for this calendar day in the 50s, and that's where we are right now, and we'll drop back to near normal to slightly above normal temperatures for the rest of the week, closer to normal at least. Uh, but for tonight, look for overnight lows in the 40s with clouds increasing and a few rain showers moving through, especially across the north. Here's how the system evolves with those scattered showers moving along mainly the Highway 2 corridor around Williston around 3 a.m. and then shifting towards Minot between 4 and 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy sky for the rest of us as those scattered showers push farther to the east. We'll see a northwest wind be introduced behind this cold front. Some gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour tomorrow with that mostly cloudy sky, the exception in southwestern North Dakota where more sunshine will be found. But 40s and 50s tomorrow afternoon much cooler than today as those clouds decrease for Tuesday night a freeze is likely heading into Wednesday morning as the cooler temperatures prevail but here's the rain forecast showing that stripe of possibly a tenth to a quarter of an inch along and north of highway 2 towards the Canadian border not expecting much if anything along the I-94 corridor T high temperatures tomorrow forecasted to be at 48 degrees Williston and Minot in the 50s for a lot of us and still hanging on to the 60s towards South Dakota stronger northwest West wind develops behind this cold front. We could have some gusts around 30 miles per hour tomorrow morning right behind that cold front in portions of south central North Dakota, but then region wide wind gusts will be between 20 and 30 miles per hour out of the northwest throughout our Tuesday. Heading into Wednesday, the winds switch direction to be out of the southwest. That's a bit more of a warming wind helping to increase temperatures back into the 60s with a lot of sunshine for the middle portion of our work week. So you can see that rebound in temperatures for Wednesday. Temperatures running a little bit above normal as we go into next weekend. And overall in the longer range, maybe some more seasonable temperatures, but the next six to 10 day outlook favoring that above normal temperature pattern to continue. Keep in mind, normal highs are in the low 50s by this time of year. We could get into a bit more of an active pattern towards the end of the month with some cooler weather coming in towards the northwestern United States. That remains to be seen because these precipitation chances are pretty few and far between on the seven day outlook. Tomorrow being the best chance in the morning hours in northern North Dakota. And then temperatures in the 50s and 60s as we go through the rest of that seven-day forecast. Down. All right, well, hang in there. Yep.